welcome to the Jam and Stamper. So happy to have you here. Um, we're going to do one more quick Halloween project for you guys since um, it's almost Halloween and I'm sure a lot of you have this stamp set, which is the cookie cutter Halloween stamp set, which I don't know about you guys, but it's one of my favorites. Um, so we're going to do a quick, quick one. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, this is my paper pumpkin block, which is my favorite block for everything. You guys see me use it all the time. And we're going to take our little, well, our little vampire, okay? Now, I'm, I kind of am doing this to show you guys how easy it is to use these stamps. So, I just pulled it off there. Um, and I, oh, excuse me. I will center him on here, right there, okay? Now, the only ink pad we're going to use for this project is basic black. So I'm gonna take my basic black and I have a scrap of Whisper White right here. Okay, Whisper White. So we are going to ink him up on our basic black. Double check before you stamp him. Um, sometimes these, the thicker things can take a second to get inked up. So you wanna really ink him up really well, okay. Basic black out of the way. And then we're going to just Stamp him on there, nice and solid. Okay, got our vampire stamped. I'll close my basic black. Okay, and I'm done stamping on this one. Now we're gonna use our cookie cutter builder punch. Okay, so the way we do this is we will do it upside down like this and you will line him up right there so you can see, oops, sorry, I should center it in here the edges and then I'm just going to push down and see everything popped out, right? So now, ah, got him stuck. There we go. Okay, got that stuck in there, but I got lots of little pieces, but here is our little vampire guy. Okay, let me move, make some room, clean out some of my trash that I just made. Okay, we're gonna use our punch again. We're actually gonna cut a little bow tie for him. So I have a piece right here of cherry cobbler, of our cherry cobbler um, cardstock. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just the bow. So I'm lining this up on the side just for where the bow is. Okay, so I'm going to punch that out, drop it down there, and then I have more of my cherry cobbler left to do more if I want to. Okay, here's my cherry cobbler bow. And I'm going to take one of my Stampin' Up mini glue dots, right there. He has come on a roll. If you haven't seen them before, these come on a roll. And there's my, oh, I'm able to pick up my thing. Okay, move him down there. Okay, so I'm just going to put the bow over one of my dots and press firmly and then peel it back. Now the glue dot's on my bow. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, the blue dot's on my bow. So I'm just gonna put the bow, the bow tie, over his bow tie, right there. Okay, so now our little vampire guy is done. Let me put my glue dots away, okay? So next we're gonna take, I've already done this portion. Um, if you watch one of my previous videos, you can see me cover the nuggets. Um, so this is Hershey's Nuggets covered with our uh, Halloween Night Designer Series paper. Okay, I just did different patterns, and they are in one of our two by six, two by six, two by eight clear um, cello bags. I had to think what they're called. Sorry, one of our two by six clear, two by eight clear cello bags, and I just uh, put them in there and I taped the back. So this is just kind of my basis. I've made a ton of these this year because these are so fun to give out. People think you went to a lot of work to do it when really you didn't. Okay, the next we're gonna use is some of our Halloween Night Baker's Twine. And I'm going to pull off enough so that I can cover it and do a little knot. Okay, that should be enough. We'll see, we'll see if I did that right this time. Okay, and now we run it over the top. You've probably seen me do this portion before too. And I am going to twist it in the back just below the second nugget right here. Okay, you see that? And then wrap it around, like line that up because it's not lined up very well. Okay, and then um, I like to thread the twine underneath 
the twine that's laying the opposite direction, like this. Okay, thread the twine. And then I'm going to do a square knot right here. Do right over left. And then pull it tight when I do my first one. And then left over right, like that. And then I will cut these short. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, it looks like it's all tied up nice like a package. It's so fun. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little vampire right here and take some Stampin' Dimensionals. Some out of the package. Um, if you've never ordered Stampin' Dimensionals, you actually get 300 when you order a pack. And I think they're like $4, so that's a lot. They go a long way. Um, I use them in almost every project, but um, I love them. Okay, so now we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to actually put two on the back of our little vampire man. I like to put one on his head and one on his body. Now peel off the backing on these right here. And the little knot we made, we're going to actually put him over it. So you can't see it. Like that. And then our little quick and easy project is done. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If I don't get a video to you on Monday, happy Halloween if I don't see you. Um, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, if you haven't already and you want to subscribe, click the little red button below. Um, you can also visit me at thejamandstamper.com right here um, to see my blog. I do blog um, often. And you can purchase anytime right here at thejamandstamper.stampinup.net. And if you use uh, the hostess code right here, I'm going to put a hostess code right here for you. Um, you will get something special from me. Uh, this month I'm really trying really hard to hit a goal. So any orders this month are appreciated. I mean, any orders are always appreciated. Uh, but this month I'm trying to hit a goal. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I love you guys so much and have a great day. Bye. Bye.